Protesters again took to the streets, this time to praise what's been described as the start of peace talks. Waving flags and portraits of protesters killed during the biggest political challenge President Daniel Ortega has seen since coming to power in 2007. Members of the opposition queued at the back entrance of the talks venue where church leaders were waiting to mediate. An extra 500 riot police were drafted in to oversee the meeting in the capital, Managua. The talks between Ortega, opposition and student leaders are aimed to resolve weeks of protests where dozens have been killed. Human rights groups have condemned the president and government forces for using excessive force and repression. Flanked by his wife and Vice President Rosario Murillo, the left-wing leader said Nicaraguans killed in the crackdown were criminals. During his speech, he was heckled and accused of being a killer. These were not little angels. When we have complicated situations like this one, where you have people roaming around at night, paramilitary groups that go around destroying things, then we say to the police, no, we let them shoot them. That's it. The protests were initially triggered by plans to reform Nicaragua's bankrupt social security system, but changed into nationwide street movements demanding an end to Ortega's 11-year rule. Private businesses no longer support you, and it's time for you to listen to the people and make a decision. We've appealed to your good judgment, Daniel. We've appealed to your good judgment, Rosario, whom the people respected and whom the people admired and gave you a vote of confidence in 2007 for you to come to power. Please, respect the wishes of the people. Listen to the will of the people. Thank you. 72-year-old Ortega is a former Marxist guerrilla who helped lead a revolution to overthrow the US-backed dictatorship of Anastasio Somoza in 1979. After losing the election in 1990, he returned to power in 2007. Since then, he has extended presidential term limits and promoted his wife. Some suspect she's preparing to become his successor. Wednesday's talks ended with protesters shouting killers and murderers as the government representatives stormed out. They're due to meet again on Friday, but Ortega hasn't said if he'll be there. Hannah Hoxter, Al Jazeera.